So welcome to the second day of uh, computer aided design using Fusion 360. So today I will explain a tutorial from Autodesk how to create a water bottle. Yeah, welcome, welcome to the second day of computer aided design using Fusion 360. So today I will explain how to create a water bottle in Fusion 360. So this is actually a tutorial from Autodesk. Uh, I will share this tutorial in the Google Classroom. So here, uh, this is the tutorial, create a water bottle. So here you can see uh, different activities. First, you have to create the base shape of the bottle. Then next is create the spout of the bottle. Then next activity is create the bottom of the bottle. Then you can customize your bottle, uh, depends upon your requirement. So that's uh, that's about the, uh, the, the different activities to create a water bottle. So I will click uh, the design workspace. I will show you one second. Yeah. So in the left side, you can see the selection of different workspaces. So you can see design workspace, uh, generative design workspace, rendering workspace, animation workspace, simulation workspace, manufacture workspace, and a drawing workspace. So I already explained what is design workspace. Design workspace is used for creating the 3D models. Then uh, drawing workspace, I already explained what is the use of drawing workspace. Drawing workspace is used to create the different drawings, isometric drawings, orthographic views, front view, top view, side view, bottom view, uh, backside view, etc. Okay, so that's all about the, the different workspaces in Fusion 360. Then I will, uh, I will click on the, yeah, in the, in the design workspace, uh, you can see you have to click on the create button in the in the near to the design workspace. You can see there is an option that is called a create create option. You have to click on that create option. When you click on that create option, you can see an option that is called a create form. Okay, so you can see I have drawn a circle in 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 that area. You can see the link create form. So you have to click here create form. So click on that create form. So when you will, when you click on the create form, you can, uh, you can create some shapes. That is T splines. That is here. You can see uh, a box. You can create box, plane, uh, cylinder, sphere, torus, quad ball, pipe, face, extrude, revolve, sweep, loft, etc. Okay, so you can see. So here I am actually creating a, a water bottle. So here I am selecting the cylinder. So I will select the cylinder option. So here you can see this is actually a quad ball. Uh, when you place your mouse on uh, every command, you can see the description. So here you can see uh, the mouse uh, cursor will be on the quad ball command. You can see creates a T-spline quad ball, select a plane, then uh, a center point for the sphere, use the manipulators or input fields to specify the diameter and the number of faces. 
so sweep uh, so sweep is used to create a t spline body, body by uh, sweeping the edges or sketch curves along the selected path then uh, the modify option near to the create there is another option that is called a modify option modify option is you can modify if you want to edit the form you can edit this that is called a modify then another options are symmetry utilities then construct inspect insert select finish form okay so i will explain this in detail so first you have to uh, uh, fix your unit system so first you have to fix your unit system here the unit system will be in millimeters so here you can see you have to change your unit system into millimeters that is the first step so how to change the unit system in the browser tab you can see here in the i will draw a circle left side you can see in the browser tab you can see the units millimeter now you can see the unit system is in millimeter you have to double click on that such that you can change the unit system when you double click on this uh, you can see the uh, a new window is actually opened that is the change active units so here you can see uh, with the help of this you can change the units change active units window in in here you can see the unit type so here in this unit type is millimeter you can click ok to fix the unit as millimeter then in this way you can uh, you can fix the unit system then uh, the next thing is you have to select the form option create form option here you can see create this option create form okay you have to uh, or open the form tab okay so when you click on the create form and then the next step is you have to select the object is it a cylinder is it a quad ball etc so here i am selecting the cylinder then you have to select the plane the default plane which plane you are you want to create the cylinder is it an xy plane xz plane or yz plane so here the plane is xz plane then after that you have to click a point to specify the center point of the cylinder circle so i will i will select the cylinder then i will uh, yeah i will click the uh, click the uh, xy xz plane or xy plane which plane uh, okay it depends upon your interest you can select that plane and you can draw a, draw a cylinder cylindrical shape like this so here uh, when you when you click on the cylinder you can see a, a window is actually opened in the right side you can see this window okay so in the window you can see uh, there are some options one is diameter so what is the diameter of the cylinder then the diameter of faces so what about the faces you can see uh, in this uh, in this uh, uh, face of the diameter you, how many faces so here number of faces is actually eight okay so here you can see the 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 columns number of columns you just count the number of columns how many number of columns in the in the cylinder it is number of eight so here if you if you change the number of uh, diameter faces into 10 then this number of columns changes into 10 okay then next is the what is the height of the cylinder you can adjust the height value then height faces is number number four here you can see that the height face is four here here check the height check the faces uh, of height so here this is one height one this is uh, phase one phase two and phase three and phase four so here you can see how many faces height faces four if you enter this as uh, as five you can see five different faces okay so that's all about the diameter faces and the height faces then then the next thing is so once again i will show you yeah i will click on the cylinder option
yeah now you can see my uh, my new values that is actually uh, check the the diameter so the diameter is 50 and what about the height it is 100 millimeter okay and you can see the diameter the two phases one is diameter phase and another one is height phase okay so diameter phase is here you can see diameter phase is eight so here you can see one two three four five six seven and eight and the height phase is actually one two three and four okay so that's all about the diameter phase and the height phase then so if i will you can see i will change the height phase into six see you can see the the height faces see just count how many how many faces height see one i will draw a tick here just count the tick one two three four five and six so here you can see the the height faces this is the height faces you can see this is the height phase six so here the height phase is six okay so that's all about the height phase and the diameter phase then uh, the next is uh, I will translate the cylinder upward by 30 mm to create three height phases and taper the faces. Okay, so for that I will uh, click this option. I will select this option. So the option is this. You have to edit the form. Okay, for you have to click the form option. Then you have to click on modify and then you have to click on the edit form option. So go to the modify tab, go to, go to the modify tab. When you click on the modify tab, when you click on the modify tab, there is an option that is called edit form. You have to click on that edit form and then you have to select on the top edge. So you have to select the top edge of the cylindrical surface and uh, you have to click the modify button and click the edit form. So you can see a new window is actually open that is uh, the edit form. So you have to edit this form. Then I will click on the top edge. I will double click on that. I will click on the top edge. Okay. So when I will click on the top edge, you can see the manipulator options. The manipulator option means you can, uh, I will show you uh, the here. So here you can see this is the manipulator option. So this is called a manipulator option. Here you can see an arrow in the upward direction, an arrow here in this direction. And, and you can see three arrows, one in the top, one in the left, one in the, one in the right. Okay, so this is actually for translation. So translation means x y and then is a direction then uh, here another option that is called you can you can see a circular option here so this circular portion is actually used for the rotation it's tilting okay so that's all about the uh, that's all about the translation and the rotation so i will use the translation option so now i will use the translation option now i will use the translation option I will double click on the top face and then I will click on the alt key and the and drag the manipulator uh, in the up, up direction to translate upwards by 10 millimeter. I will click on that uh, double click on that edge. you can see the yellow color then you can see the manipulator option I will click on the alt alt option then click the up arrow and I will, uh, the translation distance is 10 millimeter. Then the next thing is, you can see, so here you can see a symbol like this, okay? So here you can see a, a symbol like this, okay? This is actually for, to scale inwards or outwards. So here this is used to scale inwards. 
and here I am using the factor of factor as 0.75. Okay, so I will use the factor as 0.75 and I just click on this option and then drag it and use the scale factor 0.75. So I will, yeah, now you can see, I will, I will click on, I will click on the, the top edge again. And here uh, in the screen, you can see this, this drag option. I will click on this and then I will enter this, the factor as 0 0.75. Now you can see the, the value that is uh, 0 0.75. Here you can see the value here, 0 0.75. And here you can see this is the, this is the option. Just click here. You can see the circle uh, in the screen. Just click and then uh, move this and enter this value as 0 0.75. Yeah, then, yeah, again, the next uh, I will, uh, I will select the, the top edge again and then again I will translate this. I will click on the top edge. Again, I will click on the modify, edit, edit form, and then I will click the translate button. So here you can see the manipulator option. I will, I will click the, the manipulator option, and then I will just drag it, and then the distance as 10 millimeter. So in this way, you can, with the help of this manipulator option, you can adjust this. Again, I will click this, and then I will, change the factor of value as 0 0.75. I will click on the front view. See, you can see the, 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 the top portion, a tapered portion. You can see a tapering portion will be in the, in the top portion of the water bottle. Okay. So here, so here, this, uh, this is actually, uh, you, you actually uh, create a circle. Then after that, you have create a cylinder with the help of the form. And then with the specified dimensions of what about the diameter, what about the height with the help of the settings of the cylinder. And then you have to create the faces at the top of the cylinder and you, ha you have actually tapered them inwards to create the uh, base shape of the water bottle. I hope it's clear. Then uh, the activity number two, create the spout of the bottle. Again, double click on the uh, circular edge at the top of the cylinder, then click the Alt key and drag um, the manipulator to translate upwards at a distance of 10 mm. I will click the uh, edit form. I will click on the top edge and then I will translate this using the up arrow, press Alt key and the translation distance is 10 mm. Then the next thing is I will add an edge. I have to uh, insert an edge, a circular edge, halfway through the top face of the bottle. So for that, there is an option that is called insert edge. So go to the modify tab. So here, this is the option. Go to the uh, form option, then click modify. Then you have to click the insert edge option. So what is the purpose of this command? You, you can insert a circular edge halfway through the top faces of the bottle. First, you have to select the top edge of the bottle and then you have to uh, click on this insert edge and then make sure that the insert location is uh, set to 0 0.5. So I will go to the modify. So I'll click on the modify option. So when I will click on the modify option, you can see the, the insert edge option. So here I will show it. So here I will draw a circle. So here you can see insert edge option. You just click on this insert edge option for inserting the edges. Then, yeah. I will click on the insert edge option. So when I will click on the insert edge option, you can see a new window is actually opened. That is the insert, that is called the insert edge option. So here you have to uh, 
select the T-spline edge, then insertion mode, insertion site. You have to you have to select the the insertion mode and the insertion site. Then I will click on the top edge. Then now you can see an edge is inserted. And the insert location is uh, set to 0 0.5. You have to enter the insert location as 0 0.5. So here you can see the insert location. So this insert location value is 0 0.5. You have to enter this value, 0 0.5. Then I will click OK. So now you can see a new circular edge is created. Then the next is you have to insert two circular edges, either side of the one you just inserted. So you have to create uh, another two circular edges, okay, again, the command is same. You have to click on the insert edge option. You have to click on the insert edge option and then you have to uh, insert location to 0 0.5 and the insertion side. You have to change the insertion side to both. So you have to click on this edge. You have to click on the circular edge you just inserted. That is the, the edge you, are, you have created previously. Modify, click modify, insert edge, then click on the edge. You double click on the edge previously created. And then here you can see the insertion side. You have to enter the insert location as 0 0.50 and you have to enter the insertion side as both. So the uh, that is completed. So here are two circular edges, either a side of the one uh, you just entered. Then the next option is you have to scale the profile of the spout by a factor of 1.2 to create a rounded profile. You have to create a rounded profile. So first you have to change the view uh, to front view. So I will change the view to front view. So I will change the view to front view. So now you can see this is the front view. Then I will select the, the faces I have created. I just uh, select this edit form. I will just click edit form. Then I will select the faces. Then I will click the home button to see that all faces are actually selected. Then I will use the, the drag button in the manipulator scale. So in the manipulator scale, I will use that, click this option and then drag this. And then I will enter the, the factor value as one point two. So I will enter this value as 1.2. So now you can see your top portion is completed. Yeah. Then the next activity that is the create the bottom of the bottle. You have to create the bottom of the bottle. I will change the view. I will click on the bottom edge and then I will, uh, I will with the help of this manipulator, I will translate uh, the distance to minus 2.5 millimeter 
click the alt key and drag on the manipulator to translate downwards by minus 2.5 millimeter so i will click on the bottom edge edit form so make sure that if you want to edit this form you just click on the edit form option okay so i hope it's clear so this is the edit form you have to click on the edit form for edit this you have to click on the edit form and such that you can edit this double click on the bottom edge now you can see an yellow color that means that edge is selected then i will uh, use this manipulator arrow and the enter this value as minus 2.5 millimeter minus 2.5 millimeter then again i will click on the edit form i will click on the bottom edge again double click you can see an yellow i will drag this and i will enter the uh, factor value as zero point eight five i will enter the factor value as zero point eight five then again i will click on the the edge again and then i will factor value as 0 0.7 for inverts again double click on the edge again edit form click on the edit form double click on the edge now you can see the yellow color then drag this i will enter the value as 0 0.7 I will enter this value as 0 0.7, the factor value as 0 0.7. Again, I will click on, double click on the edge again. Then I will enter the factor value as 0 0.85 i will drag this and then i will enter the factor value as 0 0.85 then finally i will translate this uh, i will click this edge and translate this uh, manipulator with the help of this manipulator and the translation distance as 2.5 millimeter again click modify edit form i will click on the edge now you can see the the yellow color i will click the arrow and the the translation distance is 2.5 millimeter i will enter the distance as 2.5 millimeter yeah that's completed then the next is uh, i will i will fill uh, the hole so here you can see there is a hole at the bottom of the bottle okay so here you can see a hole at the bottom of the bottle the next option is you have to fill that hole okay so first you have to click that uh, circular edge and uh, you have to click the fill hole option and then you have to select the uh, you have to select the fill hole mode of collapse option so i'll click on the edge and then i will click on the fill hole option click the modify and here when you click on the modify option uh, when you click on the modify you can see this is the fill hole so here you can see i will draw a circular circle here you can see this is the fill hole click on this fill hole option click on this uh, fill hole option now you can see a new window is actually opened that is called a fill hole window this is the this is the fill hole window you have to here you can see the t-spline edge is selected that is this is the edge and here you can see the fill hole mode you have to select this fill hole mode as collapse so i will click on the fill hole mode of collapse there is an option reduced star fill star option i will select the uh, uh, 
collapse option then i will click okay now you can see the the bottom of the bottle is completed yeah it's completed then uh, if you want to customize your design the next now our bottle is say 90 percentage completed uh, if you want to uh, customize your your uh, bottle if you want to customize your bottle you can you can uh, uh, customize your bottle so first i will i will uh, select the two edges you can see in the screen i will uh, select these two edges okay here you can in the screen you can see the two edges i will select these two edges and i will delete this first i will delete these two edges so i will i will control i will select the two edges double click on the two edges now you can see the yellow color that means that edge is selected then just click the delete button such that you can see your that two edges are actually deleted then i will click on the central edge uh, i will i will edit the form option i will click the modify i will click the modify edit form then i will click the the central edge double click then you can see a circular uh, circular portion the circular portion is used to actually this is used for the rotation so i will enter the rotation angle as say 55 degree i will enter the rotation angle as 55 degree and then i will translate this uh, uh, to a distance of 10 mm i will click the translate up arrow i just click the translate up arrow and then i will move this to the uh, translation distance as 10 mm then i will i will drag it and uh, the factor value as 0 0.75 this is uh, actually some adjustment some customization customization okay so i will i will use that that this option and then i will enter the the factor value as 0 0.75 then uh, then the next option you have to uh, thicken your uh, you have to add thickness of bottle so here i will add the thickness as 2 mm uh, click on the uh, thicken option uh, go to modify you have to click on the modify option so when you click on the modify option uh, the the option that is called a thicken so here i will draw a circle here you can see a thicken so i will i will draw a tick line here this is called a thicken you just uh, select this option uh, select this option and then uh, the thickness value as when you click on the thicken option uh, select the the object the bottle completely select the bottle and here you can see the the thickness what is the thickness value so here i will enter the thickness value as 2 mm you have to enter the thickness value as 2 mm so i will enter the thickness value as 2 mm so you can see a t spline uh, body of the water bottle is created i will if you want to change the thicken type as soft yeah now the perfect now our water bottle is completed so here you can see uh, the t spline body of the water bottle is created you just click on the uh, you just click on the finish form just click on the finish form such that your water bottle is completed okay so uh, this is actually uh, today's uh, session the, with this i will uh, stop today's session so uh, today uh, i actually explain how to create a water bottle with the help of the sculpt environment that is called a form environment so you have to select the uh, the cylinder option and then you have to adjust the uh, the the shape or the size with the help of the manipulator option so i hope the high hope i how to use the manipulator option effectively so you have to practice this you have to make this uh, uh, make this in fusion 360 and you have to submit this as an assignment okay with this i will stop today's session i will share the the working video uh, 
uh, and the link in the Google Classroom. So you have to practice it. Okay, thank you.